Shako Robo Sana, Lesete Perebo Shayamaha, Believe the Lord, Believe the Jesus, Eka Rosa Tapara Namaha, Lesoto Para Namasa Tapaha, Oh Jesus, we worship, Jesus, we worship. Chumbe wa puana Chumbe wa puana Hallelujah Wa maisha ya dai Wa maisha ya dai Amene na mwenyewe Amene na mwenyewe Hakuna naweza kupinga Karaba soto paraba Karaba soto paraba
of God. I can stand here because I have you, Jesus. I have you, Jesus. This joy that I have is the joy of the Holy Ghost. So, so, come on, sing it. Say, so, so, so. E não me conhece com ele, mas é só. Como se disse? Favor is away. Direction is away. So power is away. Power is away. Healing is away. Come on, say. Healing is away. So favor is away. Favor is away. Direction is away. Direction is away. So power is away. Power is away. Healing is away. Healing is away. Favor is away. Direction is away. Direction is away. So power is away. Say power is away. Hey, healing is away. Healing is away. So favor is away. Say favor is away. Direction is away. Direction is away. the glory. Not unto us, O God. Not unto us. But unto you, mighty one of Israel. The life giver, our God. Our keeper at our right hand. The shepherd of our soul. Unto you, O God, be all the glory. The Bible says, let everything that has breath praise your holy name. We bless you for the life in our lungs, O oh God. Because your spirit has made us, and Lord, your breath gives us understanding. And with that revelation, we put our hands together as we open up our mouth and celebrate your God. We celebrate you and give you all the glory. Jesus, we give you all the glory. Somebody give the Lord glory. Not 
unto us, but unto God be all the glory. Somebody say amen. I welcome all of us once again to Victor's Assembly Church, the house of celebration. I want you to look to the right and to the left and tell your neighbor, I am glad I'm in the house of my father. And tell them, I know God has a plan for my life. And I know I will not go back the same way I came. I know, said one day, I know God is in this place. And tell him, I know, and I know he's here, and I'm here. So with that revelation, can you celebrate our maker? Let everything that has prayer, praise the Lord. Open up your mouth and give him praise. Praise. Shout. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to invite us to our seats, but before we sit down, I want us to acknowledge God once again, the God of this altar. Amen. He is the father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He's been good to us, so kind, so gracious. The Lord God of our salvation, he's kept me and kept you. So I want you to just lift up your hands and tell him, Father, for the gift of life, I say thank you. In your own accord, just tell him. For the Bible says, it's not the dead that praise him, but the living. Let him know that you are here. Tell him, Father, I am here. And I come to tell you, thank you for your breath in my lungs. I come to tell you, thank you for soundness of mind. I come to tell you, thank you because of my health. I want to tell you, thank you for everything, Lord. Even before I ask you for anything, I tell you, thank you for everything, Lord. We give you praise, Lord, and we give you glory. In Jesus' name we say thank you now I want us to celebrate the priest of God on this altar none other but driver Ruth Tomoyo can we celebrate the favor and the grace and the anointing of God upon her life amen and amen and amen we acknowledge all of us for coming we thank God for you you are welcome to your comfortable seats we want to acknowledge those who are watching us online from all the corners of the earth. This is Victor's Assembly Church, Nairobi. We are here to celebrate a life well lived of one of us, none other but Minister Anastasia. We are so glad that God allowed us to have her in, a, in this church and above all in our lives. So as you join us to celebrate this life, God is going to do mighty things in our lives. And I want to acknowledge a few people in our midst. Um, men of God in our midst, if you're a man of God, kindly just lift up your hand wherever you are. I want to acknowledge you. You are a man of God. Kindly just lift up your hand. Amen. Amen. We celebrate you so much. Thank you for finding time to come in worship with us. Let's celebrate the grace of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. We want to acknowledge the family of Anastasia Kigo. We want to acknowledge the family. You are here. You are a family member. Just lift up your hand. We want to acknowledge you. Amen. We thank God for you. Amen. Let's celebrate the family. Amen. We want to celebrate also the neighbors. Hallelujah. You are a neighbor to Anastasia. Amen. Just lift up your hand wherever you are. Our good neighbors. Amen. We have some neighbors in the house. Can we celebrate them? Hallelujah. All the workmates from Carefree. You are here. You are a workmate to Minister Anastasia. Can you just lift up your hand? Feel acknowledged. Ah, you are many. You are many. We acknowledge you. Amen. We invite all of you once again, all the friends of Anastasia, just lift up your hand as we acknowledge you. Thank you so much for finding time to be with us today. Amen. And now acknowledge yourself. Amen. And all the victors in the house, let me hear Nduru in the house. Wapi Shangwa Navigelegele from Victor's Assembly. Amen and amen. We thank God for everything because it's God everywhere and God of everything. At this time, we are going to take the tributes and we are going to be having many, uh, Pastor Mo here taking us through the tributes and uh, we are going to have a lineup of them and I know that God is going to bless us together. Welcome, Pastor Mo here. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Just wave to me wherever you are. God is good. And all the time, and we love him. I would want to take this opportunity to ask the first line of tribute to Baba Scarlett. Baba Scarlett will be the first one to give the tribute.
Uh, my name is Babas Alex. God is good. All the time. Even now, God is good, despite what we are going through. Um, to my dear wife, Anne, it was God's miracle that I found love from such a humble soul. Our early days were met with a few handles, including losing our dear firstborn, Nicholas Gitaungugi. This did not deter our determination to a better tomorrow, which found us. Uh, our two beautiful daughters, namely Scarlett Wanji Kongoge and Victoria Waboy Ngoge. Father, blessings so you embrace our beautiful daughter, John Wanji Kongoge and Maxwell Gita Ngoge, who found an already shoulder to lean on. Oh dear, what a wonderful mom to have in this world. How I wish you saw Maxwell up in arms, going to fight the doctors, insisting that they did not do all that they had to do at their disposal. Each day in our life together will count forever. The bond you personally built between our larger family leaves a permanent mark on everyone's life. I appreciate the fact that you are at a better place. Instead of the pain I saw you go through in your last days, I promise to respect your very, very last text messages to me, and I quote, thank you for being the best dad to our children. Please take care of them all the way, for there is a reward from God. Wachunge watoto wetu to the end. I want to rest, but I don't know how. End of quote. The only way to honor you is to honor your words, which I will do to the best of my ability. So help me God. Rest in peace, your wife. Rest in peace, Anne. Thank you. Thank you. Um, our next uh, trip, uh, tribute will come from the children of uh, Anastasia. And we shall, we shall start with Joan and Maxwa. Joan and Maxwa. Joan and Maxwa. Can you then? Mom, you are an angel, more than a mother to us and also very close friend to us. You have raised us in the rightest manner one could ever want to. Mom, you are my daughter, my warmth, my love, my comfort, my peace, and above all, my queen. I treasure the moments that we shared together, the journeys that we traveled with you just to keep you company so that you could, wouldn't 
fell alone. We will live to keep them in my heart forever till we meet again, dear darling. Mom, I, would, I wouldn't want anything more. I dearly thank you for the battles you fought for us, even those that we didn't know of. Thank you so much, my daughter. I loved you. The fact that you corrected us 700 and no one could dare say otherwise. And I mean no one. You have been our darling, our friend, our say otherwise. And I mean no one. You have been our darling, our friend, our mother. You were not selfish with your love, but you gave it to everyone innocently, ma'am. I really thank God for your life, for your time he has given us innocently, ma'am. I really thank you, God. I really thank God for you life, for your life, for the time he has given us with you and for giving us you to bring us up. You have done it to, to your level best, and we remain grateful for that. Rest in peace, my dear daughter, and you remain farewellless in my heart. I love you so much. Lala, for mom, see you soon. I want to welcome Scarlett and Victoria for the tribute. You can encourage them with a clap as they come. Our mom, mom was, was just that's a mother. She was a friend, a mentor, a girlfriend. She spoke life and brought, brought joy wherever she went. She, she would say there is no need to hold or keep grudges even though people provoke you. She always told us that God's closest friends are the pure in heart and mind. Mom was like a rose, beautiful and confident. She was the best in correcting us and dare you tell her otherwise. She was a good example, a perfect role model to us. She gave service to God every day like there was no tomorrow. She sacrificed a lot. She was a humble giver and a joyous one too. We thank God for giving us such a blessing. Many haven't had a chance to experience a mother's love, but out of his mercy and love, we were able to have one. We thank this church and the altar raised that was always the pillar of her, in her place of peace. The many joyous moments we shared together will always be in our hearts. We love you, Mom, and pray that you're dancing with the angels just like you always dreamt of. We will pick up the legacy from where you left and do our best to carry on with it to make you proud. Rest in peace, Mom. We can encourage them with a, with a clap more one more time. I'd want to invite um, the sibling, John Muturi Kigo, if you're around, for a tribute. John Muturi, are you in? We can have the family, Dr. Mukuria, kindly, if you're there. God is good and all the time. I start here on behalf of our immediate family, the family of John Muturi and Lea Waja, and also on behalf of our extended family. Wanja 
I would say, has been a child in our family. And she was actually the firstborn in our family. Her father, just like her, and it's very sad, lived up to about 40 or so years and passed on around 1990. From there on, they became our children, and they were in our hands. When I say our hands, I mean my brothers and sisters. Uh, because he was left when he was in very lower primary school. And um, I would say, from the way I know her, she has been a very, very obedient child, hardworking. And we are quite sad that she has left us at this point in time. I happen also to have had another experience with Waja when she joined Carefree. She worked at Ami. Many people in Carefree, I can see some of them here, they didn't know that Waja was related to me because I had, I think she had hardened, she was hardened enough to start on her own, quite independently, and that is good. Uh, at work, I advised her she should also not depend on me so much, but to be on her own, because it would be very awkward for me there to be handling disciplinary cases on her. And, and she really heeded my advice. Even now, I've not heard that she has had issues at work, and that means she was quite an obedient child. The only thing I can say to Scarlett is you have to take strong heart. This is the will of God. And I think your mother has left you when you are slightly older than when she was left. Because she was left when she was in primary school. But this is the will of God. And God cannot give you a challenge that you cannot overcome. I know you are strong. I'm very much encouraged from the way you are reading the tribute. And we are there to support you in whichever way we can. Keep strong. Thank you. Thank you. The next tribute will be from Jerry Wagetau. Kindly, if you're around. Jerry Wagetau. Are you there? God is good, church, all the time. Umwema. Happy. Name is Jerry Getao. And I'm in the Dada Mr. Getao. I'm the oldest sister. Kwa hivyo ni mekuja nikiwa kama dada na mama yao. Na vile ninge penda kusema, Wanja ndi amefanya tukafika hapa siku ya leo. Na aja tuleta huku, tulie. Ame tuleta huku, tuweze kusherehekea. Kwa sababu, wanja hajakufa. Amelala. Na sasa mtu wakiwa amelala, lazima tujawe na furaha. Ile kitu ningependa kusema, wanja alikuwa msichana mtulivu, Msichana mwenye heshima, msichana mwenye upendo, kama mimi tulikaribiana na ye sana. Na kwa wakati huu, okedamu okay, ikiachana ni ngumu sana, indatubidi tukubali. Lakini kuna pengo imebaki tu kidogo, kuna pengo, pengo, pengo. Lakini tunamshukuru mungu. Kwa wakati huo wote ametupatia tukaweza kukaa na wanja. Tumeguzwa. Getao mahali aliko na watoto wetu wameguzwa. Lakini tunamuomba Mungu aweze kutusaidia hayo mambo yote tuweze kuyapitia kwa njia ya amani 
na imani. E, kile kitu ningependa kusema nitasema mambo mengi sana. Nikusema tu upande wa kinawanja na upande wa kwetu tubaki tukiwa marafiki. Isifike kwa sababu wanja amelala iwe wakati huu ndivyo tutatengana. Na naomba nyinyi kanisa muendelee kutuombea na sana sana baba ya watoto hao. Tuendelee kumsupport kwa maombi na njia yote ile ambayo tutaweza. Mimi sina mengi ya kusema. Vile nimemwambia mimi naitwa Ngeri Twagetao. Naishi sehemu inaitwa Dati Wanyaga. That is in Vika East sublocation. Na ninaishi mahali kunaitwa Monyo na nafanya kazi kwa shule inaitwa Monyo Girls High School. Ngeomba tuwe na amani, tuendelee kuwa watulivu. Kwa sababu huyo msichana hata rudi sisi ndio tutamkuta kwenye alienda kwa hivyo tuendelee kuwa na amani na tuweke amani asanteni I would want to welcome friends Julius Mwangi to represent the tribute for friends Julius Mwangi Satumsifu Yesu Kristu. Yesu asifiwe. Uh, najua sisi wa Katoliki tunasemanga hivyo nimesema mara ya kwanza na nyinyi mnasema hivi vingine. Otherwise on behalf of uh, Mama Scarlet. Mama mwenye nimejua for almost 8 years now. Uh, watoto wake Baba Scarlet na the raja family especially wenye tumeshikana kwa hii mambo ya kutayarisha the last journey of our of, of our dear sister our dear wife and dear friend habari zenu eh i'm not here to start crying neither i'm not here to start giving words which may be they are going to comfort me but I'm here praising God because of the life Anastasia has been living with us. I remember when I was joking with your reverend uh, there at Coptic, uh, there is a word she told us, and it will remain in me, that unanjua hii maisha ni ya kila mtu. Saizi kila mtu wapa kiulizwa kama nataka kufa, atasema apana. But remember, one day, the Iyo Jiarazima Utapita. We also thank God because we have very good children here who are very brave. In fact, I've ever come across children like this because all the time, wametuonyesha kwa mipango yetu yote vile tumekua na mama yao hospitali kure kikuyu, koptik, and all journey because uh, we have been with her, wametuonyesha how good they are. I remember even I asked one of my best friend, who is Philip, I mean, you mean Scarlett anatoka hapa jioni? Akaniambia, yes, that's what she's doing. So, the same your mom has taught you, kindly, be like her. Be strong like her. We will be there for you. In anything, as I told you the other time, I'll be there for you. In case of anything, just come to me. We'll be sitting down with you. We'll be talking. Take me like your father. Take me like anybody you think can be of help to you. On the other hand, we got to... Uh, you know, sis wanadamu, especially kama mutu amekufa, watu waga wanamsahau. I thank Reverend because she took her time to come to the hospital kama haja kufa na ata ile siku aripas. She came and she met us there. We said a word of God with him. And to deliver it to these children, I told, I remember that day, Wakati Arikuja, Wakati Anastasia Arituacha, 
I left her there talking with the children. And nikambia watu, it's better we go. Kwa sababu nilikuwa nimemaliza kama siku tatu si jarara. Nikawambia, ukiona Reverend Akopale, mambo yote iko sawa. And I remember I left her, nikamwambia wea tumekuwachi hawa watoto, nikawacha wakiongea na hawa hapo kwa gari, and I went. And inamanisa nini? E, mtu wa mungu wakikuja mahari, mambo yote inakuanga sa? Inakuanga sawa. So, I thank you Reverend, I hope this is what you have been teaching these servants of God. We appreciate you and we are always be with you in anything you will be liking us to be with. On the other hand, nataka kumwambia bado tunaendelea na mipango ya mazishi. We are meeting somewhere. We have uh, thank Reverend kwa sababu umetupatia watu wa kanisa wenye tunasikana nao hasa kwa hii mipango tuna mipango ingine iko kule Kefri kwenye alikuwa anafanya kazi na mipango ingine iko kule nyumbani Gishagi kwenye eh, mama ma, mama Scarlet amezaliwa so we will come you in anywhere you feel like any question unataka kuuliza waweza ukauliza pastor Alice who is here this one of us he's the one coordinating the church and uh, in case of you want uh, maybe to come to the other side you can ask us the direction on where we are going. Tutapumzisha Mama Scarlet on Friday. Uh, this is this depends with what the church told us because the church is the one which is leading all this. The church agreed with us that tutumzisha on Friday. So we will come you to sikuja hapa kwa kanisa. Watch at hiyo Friday tuende tutumzisha dada yetu at least that is the that is the wana ni chekera kwa sababu naongea kikuyu. Hey, Reverend, we tutapata. Hapa <laughs> sikuja kanisa, tutaenda kupumzisha. Hata pumzishwa hapa, tutaenda kule Muranga. So we welcome you all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. The next tribute will be done by the Kefri, Kefri team, your representative, Kefri. Anastasia's family, Victor's Assembly Church family, Kefri family, praise God. Before you is Zakayo Kurui. Zakayo is a part-time member of this church. I'm standing here today representing the director Kefri, and I will read his message that he sent us with. Condolence message on behalf of Director Kefri, at the request of the late Anastasia Wanja Kigo, to the bereaved husband, children, family members, friends, Victor's Assembly Church, and the entire community. Let, uh, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to convey my heartfelt and most sincere condolence on my own behalf and on behalf of the entire Kefri fraternity, to the bereaved family and friends of the late Anastasia. I feel greatly saddened to read this, uh, this speech of, humble, of a humble, hardworking, polite, and ever jovial employee. The late Anastasia was employed in August 2012 to, uh, to June 2017 by Japan International Corporation Agency, JICA, as a driver and employed at Kefri Headquarters Muguga under JICA Kefri Project on development of drought tolerant trees for adaptation to climate change in drylands, where she worked until the, the end of, of the contract. On 4th February, uh, February 2019, the late Anastasia was employed by Kefri on annual contract and deployed at Kefri headquarters, Forest Research Support Services. Following her exemplary performance, she was confirmed in her appointment on 1st December 2021. She therefore worked diligently at Kefri headquarters until her demise on 25th May 
2023. To the late family members, our prayer is that God will comfort you and give you strength during this difficult moment. Receive our assurance that Kefri will do its best through existing arrangements to support the family. May the Almighty God rest us all in eternal peace. Amen. Dr. Joshua Cheboyo, uh, Director Kefri. Now on my behalf, I've lost a friend who was uh, a mentor to me. I was a senior at work, but she's the person who brought me here in this church. Reverend, you remember that. She encouraged me in prayer all the time. And now, it is time that she is no more. But I know God has a purpose for everything. I want to, I want to leave us with a word from... Um, just a moment. A word from First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13 to 14. And it says... Brothers and sisters, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death. So that you do not gr uh, grieve like the rest of mankind, who have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again. And so we believe that God will bring Jesus with those who have fallen asleep in him. If we read that word, there is a condition, those who sleep in him. This is a message for us because we are still living. Are we going to rest in him or we are going to rest outside him? So it's a message which is going to encourage us to know that if we sleep in Christ, we are safe. And I know that my sister Anastasia has slept in Christ. God bless you. And celebrate God better, better, better. As I give the opportunity to Kefri George Ngugi, if you're around, to read the tribute that was written and shared with us. George Ngugi. My names are Ben Mutua. I work with the Kenya Forestry Research Institute, where the late Anastasia used to work. And I'm here on behalf of uh, the department that she directly reported to. And before I say a few things about our work, the way we worked with her, I want to say that, uh, I want to say my condolences to the family, the immediate family, especially the husband and the children, the extended family, the church, colleagues and friends. I know we are all heartbroken, but may God heal our hearts. We have lost, as Kefri, we have lost a committed worker. She was the only lady driver in Kefri for a while in a male-dominated field, you can imagine, until sometime last year when we got a second lady driver. Anastasia was also a member of a a committee in Kefri known as the Road Safety Committee, uh, commissioned by the National Transport and Safety Authority, NTSA. So you can see she also had some leadership qualities in her. She, she represented all Kefri drivers in that committee. And now let me read my tribute to her. This is from uh, Kefri. Transport section. In loving memory of Anastasia Wanja Kigo, a remarkable woman who served as the only lady driver at Kefri headquarters 
in the transport section. Anastasia's presence brought joy and positivity at our workplace. Her role as the transport treasurer, we also have a kitty for drivers in which she was the treasurer. So her role as the tr transport treasurer ensured that our transport affairs were handled with efficiency and precision. Her extensive experience for over one decade of service in the JICA section added immense value to her contributions in Kepri. Anastasia's dedication extended beyond her professional abilities or responsibilities. She was a devoted mother uh, supporting the, her children. Her unwavering commitment and sacrifices allowed uh, daughters to succeed in school. Uh, Anastasia's legacy will forever be remembered as a compassionate and skilled driver, a value, valuable member of the Kefri community, and a loving mother. Her presence enriched our lives, and her absence leaves a void that will be deeply felt by us all. May her soul rest in eternal peace, and may her family find solace in the beautiful memories they shared with her. Ladies and gentlemen, let me read a poem to our departed colleague. It goes like this. Life is but a stopping place, a pause in what is to be, a resting place along, along the road to sweet eternity. We all, have, uh, uh, we all have different journeys, different paths along the way. We, we are all meant to learn some things but never mean to say our destination is a place far greater than we know. For some of the journeys quicker, for some of the journeys, sorry, for some the journey is quicker, for some the journey is slow. And when the journey finally ends, we'll make a great step forward and find an everlasting peace as our special reward. Rest in peace, Wanja, till we meet again. Thank you. Thank you. The next group that I'll call is the the praise and worship to stand Praise and worship team for Fidel. I'll read for the church and then they'll be able to read for the department. Praise God. Praise God again. In loving memory of Minister Anastasia, so today we gather in bittersweet remembrance of our beloved soul who has touched our lives in profound ways. With heavy hearts, we pay tribute to Minister Anastasia, a minister, a leader, and a guiding light. Though her physical presence may have departed from our midst, her legacy of faith, commitment, and devotion remains eternally engraved in our hearts as Victor's Assembly Church, Nairobi. Minister Anastasia joined VSC Nairobi in the year 2010. Her first service was in the ushering department where she exemplified excellence. As she was faithfully serving in the ushering department, her singing gift was identified by our reverend and she was encouraged to join the VSC uh, choir. While in the choir, she was mentored by our reverend, and she eventually joined praise and worship where she served God faithfully until her demise. Minister Anne held various leadership portfolios in the church. She was a co-minister in charge of the praise and worship, a leader in the Women Fellowship and Koinonia West Fellowship. She was not simply a figure who led us in the mention departments, she was a beacon of inspiration, 
radiating the love and joy of the divine in every knot, every word, and every gesture. Her passion for serving God was contagious and inspired many of us to remain committed to serving. Beyond the stage, Minister Anastasia was a pillar of strength, supporting the members of present worship, um, young women through times of joy and sorrow. Her presence was a beacon of hope, her words a source of wisdom and encouragement. Today, as we bid farewell to our dear Minister Anastasia, we mourn the loss of her physical presence. We grieve the melodies left unsung, the wisdom left unshared, and the embraces left unfelt. But we take solace in the knowledge that her spirit lives on within us, her legacy etched in the tapestry of our collective worship. We cherish the memories of her anointed ministry, her steadfast leadership, and her compassionate heart. We honor her dedication, her unwavering faith, her deep love for God and faithful service. And so in this time of sorrow, we hold dear the words of the psalmist that pressures in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful servant. So Minister Anastasia has joined the heavenly chorus and you know, singing praises before the very throne of God. And as we continue our earthly journey, we remain inspired by, exam by her example, forever grateful for the privilege of having known and served alongside such an extraordinary soul. Thank you. Thank you so very much. We can celebrate God as I invite Pastor Alice. Thank you so much, Pastor Mohia. Once again, thank you so much, all of us, for joining us this day. It's a day of celebration. It's a day that we are telling God thank you for a life well lived of one of us, none other but Minister Anastasia. Can we just put our hands together and celebrate God? <laughs> Amen. Allow me to bring us to announcements. We have a condolence book there at our bookshop. And we are requesting, um, once we finish the service, kindly drop a note there on that book so that we can have our kids later go through the book and they'll have good memories of their mother. So kindly, after the service, we are kindly requesting you sign the condolence book and uh, it shall be well. We also uh, request that we all share the, the live broadcast. It's on our CTN TV YouTube page, CTN YouTube page. Kindly, let's share the link, and God is going to bless us. The broadcast is live. We are all requested to share with our friends. We share with our family members, and it shall be well with all of us. Uh, these lovely two daughters, uh, Victoria and Scarlett, they have a beautiful presentation for their dear mom. At this juncture, I want to invite you. Come. God bless you. Amen. Media department, I believe you are ready. with the department.
Let's put our hands together as we celebrate God for the life of Minister Anastasia once again. Put your hands together. Mungu akwasawa nyakati zote. Amen. Ambia jirani yako akwasawa nyakati zote. Amen. At this point, I want to invite our praise and worship. Our praise and worship kindly.
to this house, the house of celebration. It's indeed a great day. I can see people I've not seen in a very long time. Helen, good to see you. I've seen Minister Dan here, good to see you. I've seen Steve Muni here, good to see you. Hey, Sebi, there's injustice for you to be there. Nagita iko hapa, inaka. Lakini sisa kuna mungine ameketi hapa la. It's a good to see you, mercy. I've seen so many people I've not seen in a long time. But it tells you how we value Oh, Pastor Presh, good to see you here. And if I didn't mention you, because there are many more people, I can't call you all by name. But I want you to feel welcome in this house. Every time you get through that door, you are not in anybody's territory, but you're in a territory where God dwells. And we call this the house of celebration. Let me tell you about the person we are mourning today. Is somebody that has brought countless days of joy on this altar. So, our, my duty as a reverend in charge is not to cry. It is to remember the good seed that has been sold on this altar. And those who are in Christ, the Bible says they don't die. They sleep. Nobody wakes up in the morning and cries because their baby is sleeping. What do they do? They go check on them and they say, oh, the, the baby is fine. And you move on and do your work. Because if I told the children that Scarlett and I told Joanne and I told Max and Vicky, when she was told to come back here, chances are she will not choose you over heaven. Because heaven is a good place. And I remember that day, Tuesday, she told me, Reverend, I know you're keeping me here, but I want you to let me go because I want to go home. No Reverend can agree to do that. So I, do, I sent prayer points to everybody. They know. The prayer, I think during all her stay in hospital, the praise and worship on us on a prayer and fasting program. And as ministers, we did our part. So, and when God does what he wants, we can question him. Because if we question him, we'll be transgressors. And I believe she's in a better place. So, even as we come here, we know the feeling. We know your loss. All of us have lost in a particular way. I could see the comments on the group. Everybody saying, wow. Everybody writing to me, comforting me. Others saying, I can't believe. Oh, Mordecai. No, something must happen today. All these singers cannot be seated there. And nothing happens. Something must happen today. And there is a song that she used to love to sing. A lot. There is no time that she would leave me at the altar with my father. That's a song she would sing all the time. So that's where she is. You see where she's transiting from, Scarlett? Leave me at the altar with my father. Can we do that song a little bit before we sit down? Hallelujah. Just lift up your hands and worship. Jeanette, you are the Timothy. You can do that song. Oh, oh. 
us in suspense. And there's a way she used to do it. We can never forget that. Can we try and do it like she would do it? No tears. This is where she dwelt. We can only celebrate that she lived at the altar. Anything that is handed over to the Lord altar is never lost. It stays forever. And I believe the best dedication I'll give to all of us, let us hide ourselves in the altar, is the safest place. Is the safest place. Can we celebrate the God that takes us and carries us on his wings? Amen. And there's somebody that is here very special, Maria, you know, Furaha, you know, you can't just sit there with that gift. And I can see everybody that has been part of Divine Encounter, I see you just come. Because you used to be part of the Divine Encounter show on CTN TV. I request you to sit down, everybody. So you've been part of Divine Encounter. I can see Zippy. I can see uh, Mordecai. I can see all of you. Just come. Come, come. Let's do just. There's a song she used to love. I'm counting my blessing. Cannot give it to myself. Say, be calm. No, don't go. Don't go. Now, where are you going? Where do you think you are running away to? Stay there. We all stay here. We will use wireless microphones and you can help them. Let's celebrate our praise and worship team. <laughs> Amen. So you just give them microphones and we'll share with them. So Zippy, you could lead us with that song. I'm counting my blessings. And of course I can see Maria. Maria, there is a song you did. The last one you did and you overtook me. Ilea. Now that one would be a special dedication to me as a pastor of Anastasia. Amia Jiraniako, this is a time to remember a good girl that has gone down. Yeah, she's gone down to where she came from. Thus we came and thus we go. So we'll do those two songs because when you, when you have a singer, they, normally they blow guitars. But for us, we will sing praises to our God because that's what she loved to do. In the balcony, are we still together? Are we still together? Can I hear a shout from the balcony? Yeah. Amen. Check one, two. Kindly share the lyrics. Kindly share the lyrics of counting your blessings. It is coming from my heart. Praising to you, Lord. Lord. Coming from my heart, it is coming from my heart. Praise and glory and Lord, praise and thanks unto you. All the things that you have done, all the things that you have done, I thank you for your love. I give you the praise. Coming from my heart, it is coming from my heart. Praise and thanks, Lord, praise and thanks unto you. All the things that you have. All the things that you have done, grateful. I'm grateful for your love. Yeah, yeah. I give you One more the time. praise. It is coming from my heart. It is coming from my heart. Yeah. Praise and thanks unto you, Lord. My coffee na shangwe. For the things that you have done, Lord, I'm grateful for your love. I give you the praise. I'm counting my blessings. I'm counting. I'm counting my blessings. I'm counting my blessings. Oh Lord, I can't keep it to myself. Can't keep it to myself. When I thought that He had done too much, oh. Yeah. 
If there is somebody I am sure that in heaven they are praising God, it is Anastasia. The legacy we leave behind is not the tears we shed, it is what she has left behind. 
that we carry on. Every time she would dance here, we would all dance. And the video was taught to Anasema, it's not if, it is must. She will tell you, you must dance. So we can't come to mourn somebody that has already shown us what they valued. We will celebrate. Amen. We will celebrate. Yeah. The Bible says that Jesus took the keys of hell and the grave. Death has no power over the righteous. Amen. It was taken captive. That's why in 1 Corinthians 5, I believe 55 was saying, Oh, death, where is your sting? Grave, where is your power? We don't celebrate death. We celebrate the resurrection. Amen. Hallelujah in the house. Amen. So tell your neighbor, Anastasia is not dead. She is just sleeping. Yeah, it's just in the twinkling of an eye and she'll rise up. So as the pastor, I don't feel loss. Apostle Paul said, whether in the body or outside the body, it is gain. But the issue is, what legacy have you, will you all leave behind? How will you, can you gather such people at your death? Yeah? This is something. This is something. This is something. And it's a legacy she left behind. So allow me, I, I'm not the one preaching, so I'll not stay here for long. So the one who is preaching is 20 minutes, and you'll be done. But for me, let me do the singing. The singing is good. The singing is good. <laughs> Because I remember when she joined this church, she, could, she didn't even know she could sing. I pulled her from the congregation. I told her, sing for me. She sang. Then she became the worship leader that she became. And when I saw her become like a flower, sing and make us lie down on the altar. I think if that's the reason why she was born, she did it with all her heart. She, did it. She's, she was beautiful, definitely. Graceful. And the most honorable person as a pastor. She made me feel special. She honored me. You couldn't talk about me in her presence. My friend, are you, do you want to commit suicide? That's who she was. A loyal person. And that is why for me, it was a loss and it hit me differently. But it took me three days to and wake up. When I woke up, I knew, I knew her tribute is to do what she loved most. Girls, we are like this. We are together. And let me tell you, it's going to be easy. It's where God is. It's going to be easy. And of course, you are loving dad. Every time I would talk to Anastasia, she would speak highly of the father of the children. And that is a plus. Joan, Max, it shall be well. It shall be well. Because she's where she belongs. And where she is. The father who is there is very responsible to know that you are here. He's not a deadbeat daddy. I hope that some got somebody. Amen. So, Furaha, you could help us do that song. Hallelujah. Shanga 
you want ears. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Keep it going. Keep it going. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We give you love. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We don't own life. Neither do we have a life to keep it or to take it. But we can tell the owner of life. Thank you. Could you lift up your hands and just tell God for the 41 and maybe almost 42 years that she lived in this earth. We say thank you. For her. Just sing a song.
said in the name of Jesus. The keys of life and death were taken by our master Jesus. Where is your sting? Where is your power? We declare today that our sister is laid to rest. Dead you have no place. Hell you have no place. Grave you have no place. Because the Jesus who is worship is the life and the resurrection. We declare even as she has laid down here, she shall yet rise again. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. The life and the resurrection, the beginning and the end, the end. That you give us encouragement and assurance of what you have already done. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Help me welcome our pastor from Kariumbangi, Pastor Madam Boche. He's going to come and share the word of God with us for the next 20 minutes. Celebrate her until she comes here. your name. Thank you for your doing. You are unquestionable. We give you glory. In Jesus mighty name we pray. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Thank you so much. I want to recognize the presence of God in this service. And we are grateful. Thank you mommy for taking us through. We really appreciate what you are doing. What you are doing for her, it is for us. And we really appreciate Anastasia has been a good friend. And she always tell me, we have one thing to do on earth. To worship the Lord, to do the service of God, and to bring up our children. So I have lost a friend. Hallelujah. But we thank God because we have hope. Amen. I want to read the word of God from John 10.10. 10. And Matthew 11, chapter 3. John 10, 10. Let us read all of us. Let us read it is all of them. I have come that they may have life and have it in abundance. Matthew 11, chapter 3. And say to him, are you the coming one, or do we look for another? Praise the name of the Father. When my reverend told me that I'll speak in this service, I was asking God, what will I say? But I have come to answer three questions. Why? How? Until when? Praise the name of the Father. Praise the name of the Father. Na shukuru mungu kwa sababu ya mandiko yake matakatifu. Uh, according to the way we have brought up in this altar, we were taught to serve the Lord. And our expectation is when we serve God, he is supposed to take care of us. Uh, na expectations are what wengi. What has happened today, it's like a conviction. We don't expect anybody to die because Christ died for us. And he took the key, the key for nakaenda nazo. He suffered that we may not suffer. He died and he became a sin. And he was not a sinner. Just because of our lives. Hallelujah. And our expectation is that tutaishi duniani maisha mazuri. But uh, kuna kitu moja ambapo Job alinena Job 14 verse 15. Job 4 for 15. The Bible says the man born of a woman is of few days. Hallelujah. He is like a blossom of a flower, but he passed away just quickly. Hallelujah. Na wakati ambapo tunakuja hapa, most of us tulipo ona hiki for tuliuliza who who is he that we do serve? I remember the song she used to sing. 
Who is he that we worship? He is the Lord Jesus Christ who was born of a woman uh, in the nature of a human being, but he was a God. And I could remember John the Baptist. He was a man who prepared the coming of the Messiah. And if today he could be living, nafikiria gekua kiimba kama vile Natasha alikuwa naimba. Akawa natengeneza jia za bwana, akawa nafanya kazi, aha, na akawa anaelezea watu kuhusu masia anayekuja. In John chapter 1, akasema uh, from the beginning was word and the word was with God and the word was God. So huyu tunaye msifu na huyu ambaye alikuwa naabudiwa na Anantasia hata kama saa hii kwa mawazo mengi ya watu wengine anaweza kaa kama ni aha ereweki kwa nini amchukue na miaka chache hivyo lakini John the Baptist akaanza kutuelezea John chapter 2 akasema he is a game changer anapoenda mahali ambapo kuna upunguvu anachanganya maji inakuwa divai anaodoa aibu he is a game changer akasema in John chapter 3 ya kwamba he is a man who could forgive the sin even when it's not supposed to be forgiven in chapter 4 akasema he is a living water so even if anaweza onekana kama haereweki he is a living water meaning if you are thirsty come drink hallelujah for he is the lord and in chapter 5 he says he had a man who was paralyzed for that 8 years na akamponya meaning he is the lord even at this time John the Baptist akawambia in chapter 6 that he is a man who is a miracle worker who could feed 5,000 people with five rolls of bread and two fish akaendelea in chapter 8 akawambia he can forgive even the woman who was caught led hearted sinning but the same John but the same John <laughs> akasema Luke chapter 7 verse 19 akatumana he said to of his disciples, John chapter 7 verse 19, the same John who has used the book of John to explain who is Jesus and who brought Jesus closer to people, Luke chapter 7 verse 19, he sent two of his disciples to him. Go and ask him. Uh-huh. John in calling two disciples to him, he sent them to Jesus saying, are you the one who is coming or... Should we wait for another? Because the unexpectedly has happened. Hallelujah. Mambo ambayo haikuwa inatarajiwa imetendeka. Yohana baada ya kuprepare watu, wamujue yesu na wamuone yesu, akafika mahali, kitu ambacho hakinge kuwa kinatarajiwa, kika tendeka. Akaita mitume wake wawiri, wakamuambia endeni mumuulize, ni yule alie kuwa akuje, mwenye niliongea kuhusu in chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, chapter 4, who is a game changer changer, who can change the situation, who can simamisha kifo na aseme apana mutu hata kufa, who mwenye anaweza sema, I will miss the worship of Anastasia therefore kifo simama, is he the one or should we wait for another one? That is what John asked Matthew, Matthew chapter 11 verse 3 Akaul, and he said, he asked him Matthew, Matthew chapter 11 verse 3, akauliza uh -huh. And he asked them, mm -hmm. are you the coming one or do we wait for another? Praise the name of the Father. The same John who have introduced Jesus from chapter 1 of John up to chapter 8. Why? Because kuna kitu ambacho hakikuwa kinategemewa kime happen. Miaka mingi na wakati mwingi na hata sisi tumeulizana kwa nini huyu? Kwa nini yeye? Ambapo tulikuwa tunapendezwa na uibaji wake na ambapo turiona mungu kupitia yeye na ambapo tulihisi nguvu za bwana zikishuka 
look. Now it's like our hearts are downcasted and we are asking, is it the same God or should we wait for another? I came to answer that question. John was asking, after all that I have done, you know he was preparing the way of Messiah and John was the voice that was heard in the wilderness. Prepare the way for the one is coming is greater than I and I'm not supposed to even to untie the thread of his shoes. He is greater than I and he said Yakwamba, he is the one who was to accomplish or to fulfill the prophecy that was written in Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 3. But now the unexpected has happened. Should we wait for another one? Oh, you are the one to come. Hallelujah. Our expectations sometimes may not lime the reality. But where God is, all things happen for good. Praise the name of the Father. And if you could be asking that question, you are not the, the first one, neither you will not be the last one. John 11 verse 21, we got a woman called Martha. Martha alipo muona Yesu. Na uh, kijana wao ama dugu yake alikuwa mekufa. Aka muambia Yesu. Ugelikuwa hapa. Dugu wetu, hagerara. Hallelujah. Ugelikuwa hapa, dugu wetu hagerara. Haka wangalia kambia, kufurahi. Ni wale watakao jua mimi, I'm the death and I'm resurrection. Na atakae, atakae amini haya, atafufuka, ata akifa, atatawara tena. Hallelujah. For he is the resurrection. Praise the name of the Father. And who is even Moses in Exodus chapter 3 verse 13. Alishidwa na mungu akabame. When the unexpected has happened, everybody, everything become a dilemma. Musa akamuliza mungu, nani kienda ni wambie? Umenita wambia ni nani? Mungu akamuambia, akamuangalia, akamuambia. I wish you could understand who I am. Nina peana sifa zangu. Ata wakati kuna Lia, mimi ninasifiwa Hata wakati mio imehuzunika Bado mimi ninasifiwa Nigeweza kunielewa mimi ni nani Hauge niuliza Haka jiuliza Nitakatakata majina haya Uyaerewe nini Haka muambia go and tell them I am Go and tell them I am He is I am He is I am Hallelujah and that is who he is. Praise the name of the Father. Hallelujah. He is I am. Wakati ambapo alisema I am. Alitaka kumuambia Musa. Nitatoshea wakati wawote. Wakati unanihitaji. Nitajitokeza vile jisi unaviyotaka. Wakati utakuwa na ja. You should know that I am bread of life. Wakati utakuwa na kiu. You should know nitakuja kwako. Kama the living water. Wakati ambapo utaku. I will come like a close friend. And when Akasema, I am the door. No one will go to the Father unless by me. And if it is by him, he died and he rose. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Father. I am I'm a good shepherd. I do take care of my flocks. Even if they are asleep, I do take care of them. I am the resurrection. I am akataka kumwambia. Ninataka ku bring closer to you. Ya kwamba utakapo ni hitaji. I want to speak to the family of Nanastasia. Mungu atajihidhirisha kwenu kulingana na vile mnamuhitaji. Watoto Mungu atakuja kwenu kulingana na vile mnamuhitaji. Ukitaka kumuona kama mama, Mungu wetu ni mwenye Enzi. Ukitaka kumuona baba, baba yuko pana ni baba wa binguni. Ukitaka kumuona kama nani? Ata kazi zile tunafanya. If you want to see him as a baker, he is the bread of life. If you want to see him as a teacher, he is the teacher that we follow. If you want to see him as a friar, he is a realist in the valleys, in the flowers of Sharon. According to how you want to see him. He will appear to you. Hallelujah. Even at the time when unexpected things has happened like this. He will appear to you just as the way you want him to do. 
If you want to see a doctor, he's a great physician. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Father. If you want to see him when you're building, he is a cornerstone. Hallelujah. If you want to see him as a champion, if you want to be a champion, he is a victor who is never defeated. Praise the name of the Father. If you want to see him huh, as a master, he is a savior. Hallelujah. However you may want to see him, if you are a historian, he is an ancient age of the day. If you want to see him, uh, hallelujah, as a question, he is the final answer. If you have a question concerning Anastasia, he is the final answer. Praise the name of the Father. He will only give to you what you want to see. Amen. Praise the name of the Father. And if you are Scora, he is Alpha and Omega. And if you are Jewa, then you should know that he is a precious stone. And if you know if you are loyalty, he is the King of Kings. And if you are Zuraji, he is a lion of the tribe of the Judah. He is everything. Hallelujah. Even at the time when we feel that we are left, he can appear to us in an area, in any way. Praise the name of the Father. That is why he told Moses, I go and tell them I am. I came to tell you that he is I am. Even when our sister is lying, he is I am. He never changes. Praise the name of the Father. And you may be asking why. Why Anastasia? The Bible says where we led. John 10.10. 10. The thief come. Uh -huh. The thief come to do what? Mm -hmm. The thief comes to steal. Uh -huh. If you're asking why, why did God did this? The Bible says the thief come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Uh -huh. God does not kill. The enemy comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Hallelujah. And you know, I'm not talking about, I'm not talking to Natasha. I'm talking to you who can listen to me. Praise the name of the Father. That you may know the thief comes to steal. He sneaks in. He touches and he separates. Like the way she has stolen the, the life that we cherished. And now he, she, he has separated us. And you know you are telling us that uh, when the devil steals, we are almost forgetting ourselves. Right now, I know Victor's assembly. We have lost a, a, a heart that we could admire to stay forever with. But he comes, the devil comes to steal, to take away, to separate, to stay the joy. One thing that I can tell you, even if our sister is here, guard your joy. Guard your service. She lived well. She served well. Do not allow the devil to steal from you the joy of your salvation. Do not allow the enemy to steal the joy of your salvation. Now because she is sleeping here and she could sing more better than you, you could be saying if she could lie here, what are about me. Do not allow the devil to steal the joy of your salvation. David said after the son was dead, he said bring food and bring water for me to wash so that I may praise the Lord because I cannot change things that you cannot change. Do not allow the devil to use them to torment you. Say Lord Jesus. Say Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus I have realized the enemy comes to steal. He will not steal our joy. In whose name the devil comes to destroy. He kills and, uh, and slaughter. He kills the hope. He kills the dreams. He kills who you are. He kills what you are looking for. Praise the name of the Father. But now that we have realized that he comes to kill, we will not allow him to kill our dreams and to kill what Anastasia started. Hallelujah. She would kill what Anastasia started. Worship in this place. Hallelujah. That is the only way we can do it the better. 
He comes to destroy. He rather useless. You know, when he destroy, it is useless. Something that cannot be used again. He stays to have uh, no love. You know, you, 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 you are here, but you don't have love. You are just here, but you feel frustrated. You are, it's something foolish. But we will not allow the devil to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Hallelujah. And you know, when we were finishing verse 10, I was given 20 minutes and it's almost. He said, I have come. When the devil was coming, our Savior also came. That's the hope we have. Hallelujah. The thief comes to, uh huh, did for us. The thief comes not to exact, but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I have come that you may have life and abundant. You should know that in this life, the devil and God, the decision you make, dio itakusukuma mbere. Hallelujah. Dio itakuonyesha where you are going. Praise the name of the Father. And you know, I came, I came so that you may have life. That is what we call Zoe. Uh, uh, Minister Richie, Zoe. He came that you may have Zoe. Hallelujah. And you have it in abundant. John 14 verse 6. He is the way the truth and life. Hallelujah. The joy we are looking meaning that when we have life, we have all that it takes to worship him even when unexpected has happened. And you know what? God cannot allow something that you cannot bear to come over you. Amepima hii akaona tutaweza. Amepima hii akaona watoto wataweza. Hakuna kitu ambacho kigumu mungu anaweza arao ikuje kwako. He is a faithful God. He knows that he utastahiniri. Reverend, I know you have lost a, a daughter and a friend. He knows alipima akaona utamanage. Hallelujah. Watoto mungu alipima akaona tutamanage. The issue is, the promise we have that he said, I will be coming to check on you. I will not live like, just like that, but I'll be coming to check on you. Just get to know. When the devil came to steal, our Savior also came to give us life and give it in abundance and give it in abundance. What is life? Life is when you realize that God is there with you. That you can bear such a pain and you still worship the Lord. That you can believe there is resurrection even after death. That you can believe them that are dead in Christ, they are not dead, they are asleep. And when the uh -huh, tarubeta zita kapo pigwa, atakuwa wakwanza. Kama sisi tutakuwa na mirihi, atatutagulia. Hallelujah. Ata tutangulia, bwana yesu asifiwe. So, ninataka kutia moyo we nunguvu. Ni kuambie hivi. He is and he will and he has been who you want to see. As a church, as a family and to the kids. Our God is near you. Na anaweza jitokeza. Jisi unaviotaka. Hallelujah. He is still Jehovah. Hallelujah. And I have seen that he is everything that you want to. See. He never changes. He never changes. He never changes. He is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. And I, it is very nice that, that now that we have come here, I have said that when the devil was coming, Master was there also and he came. I want you to go back to your pocket and we give God. Hallelujah. He is worthy of our praise. Praise the name of the Father. It is good to give in the house of God. Because what he has done, we cannot change. It is us to know that we need to give ourselves to God for it. Hallelujah. And every time, tutamuona jisi anavyo, tunavyo tumuritaji. Tukitaka daktari yeye nidawa na nidaktari wa ajabu. Tukitaka kupona mioyo, yeye akopale na sisi. Na sisi kile tunaweza fanya ni kuoffer a sacrifice. Now this sacrifice, I remember Anastasia could not do something without a sacrifice. She taught me that. So now that she used to do that, let us do it also. Hallelujah. 
Praise the name of the Father. Let us do it also. I wish I can be given a, a, a Bahasha also. I want to give. Because she was a giver. Hallelujah. She was a giver. If we can walk out of this place without giving, itakuwa tumegemea upande moja ambao hauta eleweka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Go back to your pocket, please. And if you, are, you don't have the cash, you have a, I think we have a number that we can give through. Uh -huh. There is a number there. You can give. Hallelujah. Life is when you know the Lord will breathe the breath of life and he will help you and he'll give you ability to overcome the trials and tribulation. Life is when God opens a door that no one can open and no one can shut. Life is when he does things for you that you think nobody could ever do. Praise the name of the Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kama ume package your offering, inuwa jutu yumbi. Father, we want to thank you because you're mighty and you're wonderful. Thank you for the gift of life that you've given unto us. Thank you, Elohim, for when the devil was coming to steal, to kill, and to destroy, you also came that we may have life and have in it in abundance. Thank you, Lord, as we give this sacrifice. Lord, receive it as a thanksgiving because we are alive. We worship you and we love you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Kindly give your offering as we welcome, invite the grace of God, Minister Omondi. Fred Omondi to give us a number and God we bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm glad to be here and uh, to convey my personal and family condolences to the family and the church as a whole for losing our our sister and uh, I know it's the plan of God and uh, the plan of God cannot be questioned we can't say anything but just to thank him give him thanks amen hallelujah so as we give I want us to sing this hymn song uh, uh, amen it shall be well with us it shall be well with the family it shall be well with the church shall be well with the worship team and everybody that was close to uh, uh, our sister. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Kamashwari Amani onapo Shira Wamambo yote Inuwa mikono yako jukwa yesu Ni salama Rohoni Mwangu Ni onapo Amani Kamashwari Let's go Amani onapo Wama boyote Ewe ni chulisha Ni salama roni Ni salama Mama Yeah Yeah Ni salama roni Salama Yeah Ni salama Sing it one more time. 
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Sing it one more time. One more time. Inga wa shetani. Inga wa shetani. Hallelujah. Ino wa sauti yako juu kwa Yesu. Ye 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 ye. Salama. Salama. Ni salama ro. Again, ye bwana himiza siku ya kuja panda panda ita kapolia uta kaposhuka sita ogopa mimi ni salama ro ni ye salama salama ni salama. Yenu amikono yako juu kwa Yesu. Salama. Salama. Ye 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 ye. Salama. Na sema salama. 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 Ni salama. Haleluya. Haleluya. First time I heard the news, you came to my mind, and I knew it shall be well, because God is with us. I will request the family to come. We want to take this time and opportunity to pray for you, so everybody can take their seat for a minute. Let me ask the children. You can also ask Philip and the family to come, so that we are able to pray for you and cover you in prayer, and of course cover the day on Friday with the power and the presence of God. They can come here, and I request our ministers and our pastors to come 
so that we give them a covering. Father, we give you praise. of that compassion. I want you to stretch your hands towards them and I want you to pray for them. And the prayer you will pray is that God give them strength and comfort in this time. The Bible says when the enemy killed James the enemy thought he would kill Peter but when the church prayed I would request that we all remain seated until it's all over. Please I beg in the name of God, kindly I request. Let there be order. We honor God. This is why we came. I request our ashes. Please. You can always wait. Let's pray for them. Just take this moment and stretch your hands towards them. Father God, we thank you because of this family. You are the God of all comfort. It is only you that can comfort when the heart is wounded and broken. Pray that in the name of Jesus, that your angels that comforted Elijah in this place of defeat and despair, the same Jesus that was with the disciples after the demise, after he died, and he comforted them on the road to Emmaus. Pray the bread of life you will encourage them. That you release your life and your power around them. That your anointing and your spirit, you will give them strength beyond human understanding. You will give them strength beyond human understanding. You will give them strength beyond human understanding. You will comfort them in ways that we have not known. Father, we give you praise, Lord, each one of them individually. Anastasia meant different things to them. To them, she was wanja. To them, she was mom. To others, she was a wife, a sister, a daughter, a friend, a confidant. But Jesus, as we have been told today, you step in to be the I am. We commit you and we commit them to your hands, oh God. Become what Philip needs in the days when the children need a mother. To the children become the, the confidant, the comforter that they need when they need the shoulder of a mother to the brother, to the sister, to the uncles, to the friends, even to this church. Let the sound of worship be what we hear, O oh God. We bless you and we magnify your name because it is in Jesus' name we pray. And everybody shout amen. Everybody shout amen. Amen. Let's celebrate the family as they go back. We did what we can do. May the God of all comfort comfort you. the vote of thanks to kindly come and give it so that we can conclude the service 
uh, right now we share the benediction and I request all of us write the condolence book and those that belong to VSC you can send your contribution through Pastor Alice and you document and hand over to the family because not all of us can make it to where the meetings are happening but you can always give your submission it is good to be where they in the house of mourning than to be the where there is celebration so can you make sure there is a condolence book there write it or give it to the children it will give them comfort in the days that they are down and uh, your contribution your money is important they need it they need it they need it so need a microphone Family of God, God is good, and all the time, yeah, that is his nature, he is, I am, eh? we have just heard that. Uh, as I pass the vote of thanks, uh, we are reminded in the Bible that in everything, give thanks, in all things, give thanks. So, we cannot be shy to tell God thank you in as much as uh, what has happened has happened. Sindio. Uh, so the supremacy of God, uh, we need to recognize it as we sit in his presence. God is good, and all the time. Uh, so on behalf of the Getau family, my name is Bernard Mwangi, a brother to Philip, and uh, I will take this opportunity just to say that uh, there is not a single word that is sufficient uh, to express gratitude. Even for God, or even towards God, there is not a single thing that you can say or do to express his gratitude to us. So we thank God for this opportunity, and uh, I want to thank first the family where uh, our sister is born, uh, Mr. Uh, but on behalf of the family, we want to say thank you uh, because of how Anastasia was brought up. If it were not for that foundation, we would not be celebrating her the way we are doing it today. But the Christian foundation that was laid in her from childhood, we want to say thank you to the family for bringing up Anastasia. Uh, sometimes it is said, eh, character is what is seen after you have acted. Character is after an action. And in the life of Anastasia, what I can read is servanthood, service, service to humanity. That is what she is, and that is what she lived to do. So thank you, family, for that. The church, a reverend, I know she came from a certain background, and she extended that to this church. We want to thank you because you received her and accepted her. And because of the support that she received from the church, she is what she has been in service to God. Words cannot really express, but if she is here to speak and to say what or how she is feeling, I'm sure I would be celebrating even more than what we are doing. So from that, we would thank the church for the support that you have given her during her time, and even the support you continue to give to the family, because that is what we need for now. Thank you, church. She has worked in various places, and the last of it is Kefri and Jika, and we have heard how she worked. And I thank the representative who was here on behalf of Kefri. And uh, in humility, he said eh, he was senior to her. But in one way, she became his mentor. That is what we call reverse mentorship. Reverse mentorship is when the older and the young talk together. The senior and the junior talk together. Reverse mentorship. But we have uh, known mentorship as only from the senior to the junior or from the older to the younger. But reverse mentorship is where we sit down, irrespective of our age, 
irrespective of our positions, but we listen to one another. Thank you, the representative from Kefri, and I would pray that that is her legacy in as far as her employment is concerned. If you are able to carry that forward, that will be her great joy. Reverse mentorship at your place of work. That is my word to the, uh, to the to Kefri family. We have friends, we have colleagues that she met in her life. And I'm sure if each one of us was given a chance to say a word about her, I'm sure we'd spend here more than a day, a week, so that we'll be able to hear a word from each one of us. But let me express our gratitude to each one of you who happened to have been part of her life. Whatever you shared, maybe that's the only thing we we'll request that you uphold. That is the only thing that you can uphold to give meaning to her life. So friends, colleagues, thank you very much and may God uh, continue to bless you. When she became or when she fell ill, there was the first aid that she was given and there are two, three hospitals uh, that she visited. We have Kikuyu PCA Mission Hospital, uh, we have Karen Hospital, and we have Coptic Mission Hospital, uh, the la her, her last place of uh, treatment. Our gratitude to all the doctors, to all medical uh, personnel, who in one way or the other made an effort to save her life. That effort is rewarded because you expressed your professionalism in handling uh, her ailment. May God continue to bless you even as you serve the other uh, in need of medical uh, treatments. God bless you all, uh, the, the three hospitals, and any other, health person, any other person who was standing by her uh, during that time of treatment. May God continue to bless you all. Uh, we have committees, as, even as we continue to plan for her send-off. We have several committees that are uh, working on the arrangements. Uh, we have a committee uh, um, from the place, uh, from her place of work. We have a committee of friends in Kariobangi South. We have a committee back at home. And we have a committee that is made up of all the other committees uh, that are, uh, I think they are based within the church. So I would want to thank all of you who have taken part, whatever contributions you are giving, whatever prayers you are giving, any moral support, financial support, prayers, and everything that's you are, that you are giving, uh, may God reward you abundantly. And may God continue to uh, bless you even as you carry out uh, your other responsibilities. Time, time, time. It's very costly, it's very expensive. The moment you have shared your time, you have spared your time for a friend, may God bless you for that. We have, we, I know you have abandoned or left behind other things that you would have attended to. But because of the love of our dear one, you have spared that moment to be here with the family. May God bless you, bless the works of your hands, and even as we plan, I know you are together with us, and I know you'll accompany us on Friday, even as we move uh, to, to rest her, uh, to her resting place, and we pray that whatever else that we need, financial, everything else that we require at this moment, God is a provider, and I'm sure we shall be able to receive all that which we need to give her her final respect. Anastasia, rest in peace. I have been requested that the executive committee, and I think the chairmanship, Mukuria, you're in charge of that committee, uh, to be left behind briefly for some consultations. Eh? The executive committee that is made up of the church, the staff at Kefri, and the Kariobangi South. Otherwise, let me thank you all for this moment that you have given me. Thank you for your listening. Thank you for your attention. God continue to bless you. Asante Nisana. Amen. Thank you for the detailed and well-articulated vote of thanks. We appreciate you so much, sir. And everybody that came here today, indeed, it's quite an honor that you spared your time on a weekday and just came to condole with us and, of course, uh, give her final respect. We value you, all the kids, and uh, Philip, you're quite a gentleman. You've handled yourself and the children so well. 
and uh, of course Bernard and everybody that has been involved it's been one of the smoothest plan you know thing to plan because everybody loved Anastasia and we still do and uh, just for the sake of those we may not meet again uh, according to the message that was sent is that the cottage will live on uh, will leave Montezuma Mona Lisa funeral home Thika Road branch which is in Kabati on 2nd of June which is Friday 8:30 a.m. so that you will not be stranded Kabati is I think it should be near Keno there so you meet there 8:30 so that we live together but in case you know Moranga very well uh, but some of us who don't know very well so we will make sure we are there it's a Kagera village Goroine guy Kagera village Goroine location Kaishajiro location what I now understand is Kandara constituency that one is Kandara Moranga County so all of us will be there. We'll do our best to keep the service as brief as we can. But for Minister Anastasia, it's very hard to keep the service brief. Like, like, naskia yo muasho ya kuimba kegosho. Usha iskia yo kitu ina kuasha. But in Nigeria, people are going to work. But we'll carry it forward on that day. So when we are live, uh, arrive very early, we'll have ample time to praise the Lord. And we pray that the weather will favor us. Could you be upstanding as we share the benediction? And I'll pronounce a blessing unto us as was given by Moses in Numbers chapter 6 from verse 24 to 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Father, as we uh, terminate this service for now, we pray that your blessing, your covering will go with everybody that came here. Bless them individually quiet our fears and take away the sorrow and the grief and let the burden that is here that has been shared become lighter for every one of us. We commit our journeys on Friday into your holy hands that Jehovah there will be no accident. We know death you are an enemy that likes to harvest where you find a way. But we close the, way, the ways of hell and the ways of death. We declare the journey to Gaishanjiro shall be safe. We declare the coming back shall be safe. All of us shall be protected and be safe. We even pray that the weather will favor us in the name of Jesus Christ. And when all is said and done, take all the glory and praise in Jesus' name. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit with us now and forevermore. Amen. I want to send my special thanks to Covenant Television Network team. Thank you so much, led by Alex and all of you. Thank you for streaming live effortlessly. We celebrate you. Thank you. Joan was, is one of us. And I know she got busy, but she's been one of us. One excellent person did her very work, good work in transmission. And I pray that everybody that um, has a gift in journalism and media, use it when you can. Because you never know when your services will be required. And uh, the, this wonderful team got a short notice. They are here. They did a job. Good job. Can we celebrate them? <laughs> Each one of them, I believe, had a, a relationship with Anastasia because we did many programs together. But we celebrate God for all that. Could you shake the hand of somebody and share? And surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow you. Where Emmanuel Mwekiwa Maya? Pastor Pesh. Okay, tell your neighbor again and surely. Goodness and mercy shall follow you. All the days of your life. You shall do it in the house of the Lord.